here's the truth about women and cheating. So maybe you just met a girl and you're in a new relationship and she's super, super hot. Maybe she's like 10 out of 10 girl. She's got a lot of hot girlfriends. Um, there's a lot of social buzz around her. She does cool stuff. And you know that other guys are going to be hitting her up and she's going to be aware of you know her options. And in a new relationship, this can be kind of unsettling because we don't quite know the integrity of that new partner that we've chosen. And it seems like an age old question. You know, can guys and girls really be just friends? So a lot of guys want to know what's the balance between, you know, not being a fool, but also not being insecure. And the answer to this isn't an easy one. Because at the end of the day, the only way that you're going to be able to gauge somebody's integrity is from experience. Unfortunately, you're going to have to have noticed red flags in other people in the past. And maybe if you came from a bad family, you're going to be less sensitive to certain red flags. You're going to have less of a model as to the way things should be. And yeah, certain, certain red flags you can be really dialed in over, right? Because maybe your mom or your dad exhibited those. But at the end of the day, you really need relationship experience to start to form an idea for, is this person, you know, trustworthy? Are they trying to build something with me? You know, um, or are they at risk for always chasing validation? Which means at some point they're going to seek approval from some other guy. Another thing that can happen is, you know, when people start fighting, they lean on outside relationships. And what is that person's willingness to lean on outside people when they're in a fight with their partner rather than take that, those, those sentiments and bring it to their partner in communication in an attempt to actually resolve the tension? So you're really only going to figure this out by giving a shot. You're going to get hurt. You're going to have to go back to the drawing board, be willing to try all over again, right? A lot, cause a lot of people give up. And then at some point in adulthood, you will have leveled up yourself to the point where you can attract a woman that's also leveled up equally, right, and worked on their integrity. And then both of you can build a life together based upon your shared values. And it's something you're not going to want to risk. So I can tell you right now, like my wife is so good that if I had to go back to the drawing board, it would take me years to try to find somebody that is of equal level value. It'd be kind of like rolling the dice because I can't really trust that any other girl that I talk to is going to be able to love my kids the same way that's going to support me in the same way that's going to support my mission and share my values and, you know, X, Y, and Z. So some women will cheat and it's usually because they're chasing validation or they're not going to communicate about their problems to their partner, et cetera. But at the end of the day, you have to use your own intuition. You have to open up your heart and give it a shot and then keep trying if it doesn't work out the first time or even the second time. There are good people out there that want to build something with you and that aren't going to want to ruin it. Drop your thoughts in the comments. Like this video. Check out my other videos up here.